Welcome to your quickie today, your love quickie. <laughs> today I am going to use the Crowley Tarot. And as usually I'm going to pull three cards for the Divine Feminine and three for the Divine Masculine. This is just a very short energy checkup. If it does not resonate, don't worry about it. Because those quickies work in a way where you just um, choose a number intuitively. And they cannot resonate with everybody. So this might not be your message for today please check another number also please like subscribe and share and for more in-depth readings i do have yeah more um and do have longer readings and pick a cards please check out my other content also about your divine counterpart connection what does your person want to do to you sexually i do have channeled messages from your person and lots of different content. Also, I am open to suggestions. So you can place suggestions in the description box. And also, I do give away two free readings once I hit 500 subscribers. If you want to win a free reading, please like, subscribe and share. Now we come to your reading. This is the Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine. She's got the Empress, which is nice. Oh, Six of Pentacles. This is called Success. And the Ten of Swords. He's got the, um, I think it's Ayun. I don't know how to pronounce it in English. It's called, it's kind of like a rebirth. Ten of Cups, nice, and the Fool. Well, this is good energy. Okay, Divine Feminine. If you are the Divine Feminine, then you are in some kind of cycle. You're closing right now. This card to me often represents that we already have ascended in some way. And now it is time to see what no longer serves you. It can mean anything. But it's time to leave something behind. doesn't have to be him. I mean, there's love. I mean, Ten of Cups, so it's not him or that person. It is time to leave something behind. It can be negative thinking, old patterns, um, not treating yourself well. For example, bad nutrition, not enough sports, doing a job that you hate people in your life that don't do you any good whatever it is this is a sign yes it is time to you for you to check what does not make you feel good and to get rid of whatever it is it's talking about ending some cycles and cleaning clearing then we do have the empress i love this card i also call it the pregnancy card i don't mean literal it's a card that is talking about fertility new beginnings Growth and of course for the Divine Feminine, this is her card. It's the card of stepping into her feminine power. So this is amazing. The Six of Pentacles is talking about success. Which means whatever new beginning she is growing, <laughs> it will be successful. If it is, of course, this relationship she wants. We do have success here. But again, right now it is more important to clear out some old cycles. I just feel drawn to all the orange here. The orange can talk, for example, if there has been trigger warning, some kind of maybe like sexual trauma that might want to be healed. But also it is talking about art, art being artistic. The empress can also be artistic. So maybe it is about um, being brave to start something new that it, when it comes to being artistic, creative. But also it is the color of manifestation so maybe you want to listen or to, to learn more about manifestation in order to draw your person in and create this new beginning then we do have new beginning energy with him as well because because we've got the fool and the fool is the card of trusting the divine being brave stepping forward having closed all cycles because this is the zero so it's there has been some kind of reset and i just feel drawn to this heart here so maybe there has been a reset when it comes to old wounds of his heart his heart chakra then again this card is talking about rebirth as well we have the pregnancy card and the rebirth card <laughs> so there is new beginnings happening right now energetically in your connection and what is happening energetically can of course then come out um, in the physical as well I, I'm just wondering if this looks like a hermaphrodite. I do see a penis here. I'm wondering because the face looks very feminine. So this might be a fusion of the masculine and feminine energy. 
which also means of course once there is a union within there can be union on the other side with the other person as well and then we've got the ten of cups so what he feels for you it's love it's overflowing love it's emotional fulfillment this divine masculine is getting ready to step forward in order to be with you in order to have this new beginning and i think it just needs maybe a little tiny more time because again the pregnancy card for me is there is something growing on the inside but it needs a little time to grow like a real pregnancy before it can be born and this again is talking about closing some old cycles so the divine feminine is some kind of healing process right now closing cycles and uh, he is ready for new beginnings as well so there may be a change for you too pretty soon and i am amazed there's uh, have been awesome love quickies they're all very positive i just recorded a bunch of them today and they were quite positive so there's good energy going on right now but we will see what else your person has to say those are channel love messages and if this did not resonate please pick another number then it's not your energy of today and please also always remember energies can change okay once you've cleared those cycles you can draw in your person a lot faster so and again if it did resonate if it helped you in some way please Help me by liking, subscribing, and looking at my other content too. And also, of course, by booking a personal reading with me. Okay. I think of you when I touch myself. <laughs> <clears throat> We've got You Are My Goddess. Well, that's nice. I know we have telepathic conversations. I immediately felt a connection to you. You are the best thing that has ever happened to me. I have loved you ever since the moment I first saw you. I mean, this is kind of like um, pretty much the same, right? So this seems to be some kind of strong connection. Your lighthearted energy draws me in and I'm spiritually awakening. So there is something happening with your person as well. Your person is ascending in some way. And this card just tells me, again, with the Ten of Swords, there needs to be some cycles that are closed in order to raise your frequency because you can only draw your person in once you have reached a specific frequency, okay? If you are in lack mentality, you are repulsing your person. So it's important to make sure that you are well and that you go through your cycles and end whatever you need to end and just clear whatever needs to be cleared in order to yeah get to your ten of cups that we had <laughs> anyway i hope this resonated if it did yeah please like and have a nice day bye bye